Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I am getting ready to leave Miami and head home to see them babies. Um, and I have had a wonderful trip um, despite losing my grandmother. Um, my friends have gone over and above. All of you have been wonderful. Your messages of support and love have been wonderful. Um, I This morning I cried a little bit before I went to sleep last night and I'm paying the price now. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about ego. Um, I have seen in the last two weeks situations at home in Birmingham, situations on the road. Um, ego is one of the most self-destructive self, uh, like self-characteristics that we possess as people. Most people, when they think of ego, they think of people like showboating, talking about what they have and what they've accomplished. But that isn't even really the most destructive version of ego. Okay. The most destructive form of ego is when people use it... Um, in a negative way. People who blame, judge, make accusations, gossip, complain nonstop for attention-seeking behavior, this stems from the ego. They need constant reassurance. They need constant attention, but they're looking for it in a negative light. They need to be right all the time. The most interesting thing too, the most interesting characteristic of somebody with a faulty ego is people who need enemies. How many of you deal with someone who always seems to be up against the world? The friend that always calls you because someone is against her or him. It's like they always seem to have an enemy. Someone's always mad about at them about something. And this, again, all stems from ego. It's attention-seeking behavior. They need people to assure them that it's been an injustice, that they're right, that they're worthy, that they're good, and the other people are bad. The other people um, who have issue with them are wrong. Um, this is a faulty ego. That's what it is. When people demand recognition for things that they did, and get nasty when they don't get it. See, it's not, I'm not saying that if you do the work or you've achieved some sort of accomplishment that you shouldn't get the recognition. The difference is how you respond to it. If the recognition doesn't come your way, are you mature about it? Do you like <laughs> approach with grace and say, hey, that was my work and I would appreciate X, Y, and Z? Or like, it's your approach. Are you approaching with ego? Are you making a scene? Are you stomping your foot? That is the sign of a faulty ego. And I have been dealing with this for two weeks. People who constantly talk about their problems, people who, um, again, make scenes when they don't get what they want, um, people who talk about illnesses nonstop that don't exist, this is all from a faulty ego. Ego, people who give their opinion when nobody's asked for it and it doesn't make the situation any different. See, it's one thing if you chime in with your opinion because you see something other people don't see and it can actually make the situation better. But if you're chiming in with your opinion and it does nothing for the situation, that is your faulty ego. Um, when we move throughout our day, a lot of times because ego associated with ego is associated with all that we've accomplished we don't realize that when we are grandstanding or making a scene or talking about drama that doesn't really exist or creating enemies or you know whatever this is all from our faulty egos that's what it is in some way we need recognition attention we're competing somewhere we're feeling envious of something and if we can check in with that and get to the root of what it is we can check because everybody has an ego everybody we're all born with it it's just a matter of the balance keeping it healthy 
how do we do that? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts because I think we all know people with faulty egos. I certainly do, and I've been struggling with it because it'll wear you down, man. It really will. Especially the people that have to constantly create. They always play the victim. Ay, ay, ay. Gives me a headache. Um, anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great Monday. Talk to me. Oh, I love you. Almost forgot. I love you.